Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. I've got a very special, wonderful episode for you guys today. We're going to talk about insane speculation, how history can repeat itself, and one of my one of the stocks that really got my snowball rolling. Um, you know, this was kind of what kickstarted my whole technical analysis how to find really good stocks and basing my whole, not basing, but just like turning my perspective on the stock market instead of it, instead of looking at it as something to like, you know, just put money in every once in a while, it really turned into a passion. So I'm going to flip my screen really quick. All right, here we go. I've flipped my screen. I'm now in a little bubble, but we're on stock twits. And I want to show you guys a post back from September of 2018 when I purchased ticker symbol AMRN for 285 and I sold it too early at $10.14. Huge gain there. The stock would ultimately run to $28. Um, and so I want to just kind of talk through this stock now because every time we've hit a certain period of the stock, 100% of the time it's gone to $20 or $19 and above. But just want to show you guys a little cute little artifact here. There's me back in 2018. Um, bought 3,250 shares at 285 and sold for 1014. I'm extremely happy, just sold and moving on. I remember waking up and I was like, oh my, I like pinched myself and I had to call someone to be like, what's the price of the stock? Um, let's just do some quick math here. 3250 times 10, 14. Yeah, 32. I turned uh, 3250 times 9,000 to 32,000, essentially almost overnight. So, again, the power of researching, doing homework, and looking at patterns. So, with that, um, what is Amarin? Why am I showing you this? potentially speculative move and what can we learn from history let me take you on this ride all right we are on the most powerful website in the world it can change your life i highly recommend you make this uh, website a bookmark it is finviz.com i would recommend you using on a laptop or desktop computer it's really hard to use on your phone your tablet whatever so uh amarin what is amarin we're going to type in amrn up here so ticker symbol AMRN is Amarin Corporation. They are in they are a drug manufacturer in Ireland. All right. They have a market cap of 531 million. They have income at negative 100 million. They make 369 million. Um, they have no debt. Their earnings per share this year is gonna be around 46%. Institutions own 32.7% of the company as of today's recording, 5-6. Uh, insider institutions are selling. We'll take a look at that. Um, yep, negative profit margin. Uh, they have a lot of shares float. Um, so let's go ahead and just, what should this stock be worth? Um, basically, if I just look at sales plus income divided by shares float, this should be under a dollar. So I'm just going to do 369 million, 369.2 million and we're, it's normally plus the income, but since we're mining, since it's negative, we're going to minus 105.8. That's 263 million at the end of the day. Um, and we're going to go down and add cash and debt. They had no debt. So they have 217 million cash. So we're going to add 217.67. And I'm just going to go down to total debt really quick. Yep, total debt zero right here. So are they growing their cash? Uh, they're you, they're, they had 186 million in 2020, 219 million in 2021, 217 million in 2022. So kind of flattish. So now that we have cash and sales, we're going to divide this by the shares float, which is going to be 381.3 million. And I'm doing shorthand here because everything is in the millions, which means we can concatenate it to shorten it. So the stock price should be around fair value of one twenty six, a dollar twenty six. Um, right now it is kind of priced 
you know, fairly. Um, we do have a little pattern right here. You guys can't see it. Let me just move my screen a little bit. So right here kind of looks like a flag. We have the flag pole, and then we have a little flag formation. Um, however, that's on the daily. I like to look at the bigger picture. Uh, month, the weekly looks pretty good as well here, but the monthly, if it's going to show me, yeah, it's really small, so it's hard to see. So you might be asking yourself, okay, we know what it is. It's a drug manufacturer. They're in Ireland. Their stock price is a dollar, whatever. What's the speculation you're talking about? We're going to move on to that in just a second. Um, I do want to show you guys since Finviz does show it. Notice how over here it's at $20 in 2011. And again, over here in 2018, 2020. Well, you know. Just remember that. Um, we know that their net income negative. Institutions own 32%. We're going to see if institutions are actually selling or they're buying the dip. So we're going to go to Fintel and we're going to go to AMRN. And this gives us a current view of institutional holdings. So we can see institutions have 123 million shares. So we'll just do some quick math really quick. So institutions own one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, nine, four, three, divided by the shares float, which is three, eight, one, three, one, zero, one, two, three times 100, 32.4%, 32.7. So barely, institutions barely sold there. So um, it's kind of moot that point, but um, now let's go to the speculation part. All right, um, you can see everything on my screen. It's all scrunched up on purpose. This is ticker symbol AMRN on Thinkorswim, and we're looking at the monthly chart because we like to look at the bigger picture and then make decisions once things start to enter an apex where we have support and resistance kind of coming to a psh, psh, psh. So uh, let me zoom, zoom for you. All right. Uh, the first thing I want to call out here is this green Fibonacci arc. Is that what it is? Cycle bracket. This green cycle bracket represents every time the stock was over $20, $18. Every time the stock was over $18. We have it here over $18, over here it was over $18, right here over $18, right here over $18. 100% of the time, the stock hits the cycle bracket, which is every nine years and X amount of months. Let's see. Let's just be, let's be uh, precise here. 7-1-1993. And then 4-1-0-2. So that is 10 years. So it's nine years. Nine months. Yep, every nine years and nine months, the stock goes above eighteen dollars. That's just so nine years and nine months from four one twenty twenty two. I mean, I guess we'd want to do the point. So it'd be let's just say yeah. I mean, it's over here, so. Um, 11, 1, 2022. No, sorry. 11, 1, 2001. I mean, either or. Well, let's just say nine years, six months, whatever. Um, and so from here, uh, 10, 1 over to here, 5, 1, 2011. So again, nine, nine years, six months. And then from 5-1-2011 to, gosh, we have a whole plethora over here. 
um, 2011 to 2019, 2020, again, around nine years, six months. And that same time is coming up in 2028, 6 1 2028. 100% of the time, every nine years and six months, the stock has gone to $18. Call me crazy. I think it's crazy. Um, so what we can glean from the past, you know, thinking that the past, the history never repeats itself, but it rhymes. What I see here and what you guys might see as well is we have a couple things going on. Let me move it up a little bit. The stock price has never broken above this orange right here. Okay. And we can also see the stock price has never fallen below this blue line that I'm touching at 21 cents. So we are coming to a crossroads right in here. So we're going to come to a very important apex right here. This is May of 2024. So next year, we're coming to an apex. And then, so we have the apex, let me, so the apex is going to be right here. But we also have another resistance right here that the stock price has gotten over before, but it's never, it's never sustained a long amount of time over it. Um, so we can see it lasted about a year over here. And before that, the stock had never really broken above that, if we're going from this point of reference. So what I think we're going to see is we'll see a little move here, the apex. Maybe we'll go from, you know, $1.30 to maybe $5. But I think then we're going to be under these two resistances for a while. Again, these are both off that same point of reference until we get to this area of flourishment, which is the nine dollars and or I'm sorry, the nine months, nine years, six months range. So call me crazy. Um, I do plan to make a move on this speculation. Uh, I do not want to pay more than a dollar twenty six per share, and I don't want to buy the stock yet. Um, if we're also looking at patterns, we can see, I'm just going to go here. Um, the stock did get under $1 each and every time it was within these brackets. Let me see. Let me check this area. So, yep, it got to 89 cents here. And then again over here, did it get under a dollar? It did not get under a dollar yet. So we've not to, we have yet to see under a dollar, but um, I think once we do see under... A dollar there I think that's might be a prime time for me to do some buying um, so what do you guys think about this speculation what do you think about this whole nine dollar nine month theory is it super crazy I want to hear your thoughts um, another reason why I think these apexes are gonna be really important is because I think we're actually gonna break above this resistance line now you must think I'm extra crazy here, but let me show you a pattern on the yearly. All right, everything is squinched up. Let me make it bigger. All right, so what you can see here is we're on the yearly chart. We have a pattern here that looks to be a cup and then a handle right here with a throwback and a potential move upwards, testing this and potentially going higher. That is my crazy conspiracy theory. Again, this is all speculation. They are losing a lot of money, but they're also making enough to be okay. Uh, we're back on the sheet really quick. I just wanna see if they are substantially losing money here. Uh, net income, wow, they went from positive to negative 100 million. So. Crazy. Um, we do have a director buying $92,000 worth in June at $1.69. Nothing 
that is that does not instill confidence in me i don't that doesn't make me want to go oh my god the director bought like this like even if the ceo spent a hundred thousand on a stock that's not something to be like ooh. like if the ceo spends millions on his own stock that's conviction right there but a hundred thousand for a director who i'm sure makes twice that um no thanks so uh what do you guys think about this? Do you think AMRN will get to $18 in 2028? Um, let me know your thoughts. I am going to make a move on this. I'm going to wait until um, the stock does get a little bit lower. I'm being a little bit greedy there. But um, what we're going to see is this is on the monthly. You see this is a SMA 50 on the monthly. And then right here, this lighter one is SMA 200. I think we'll see a downward move once the 50 goes under the 200 and that could put us under a dollar. So again, I'm just on the sidelines. I did have a position, but I did sell it for a little loss uh, just because I wanted to move those funds into something better. Um, so that's, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm waiting to, uh, see under a dollar and then holding until 2028 am i crazy for doing this or thinking about this let me know your thoughts if you guys made this far please consider hitting the like button subscribing also helps as well i uh, hope you have a great day or night talk to you later